Hello, let's solve this problem. From the figure where b is point of tangency and the ratio between bm and ma is equal to the ratio between nc and bn, we have to calculate x in terms of theta. From the graphical information given, we don't know initially a relation between x and theta. Then we could try to relate the unknown x and the parameter given theta with other parameters in the problem. At first glance, it seems that we can only obtain the measures of the adjacent angles at m and n, which would be 180 degrees minus theta and 180 degrees minus x, respectively. What we need to do is to analyze the graphical information given to see if we can relate x and or theta with other parameters in the figure. To do that, let's remember some properties about angles associated to a circumference. The measure of a semi-inscribed angle is always half the angular measure of the arc between the sides. Then, if the measure of the semi-inscribed angle is alpha, the angular measure of the arc is 2 times alpha. The measure of any inscribed angle in a circle is equal to half the angular measure of the arc between the sides of the angle. Then, if the arc measures 2 times alpha, the inscribed angle measures alpha. From the figure, you can notice that given an inscribed angle in a circle, there is an infinite number of inscribed angles that will have the same measure. From the properties we just remembered and the figure shown, we can say that the measure of the semi inscribed angle is equal to the measure of the inscribed angle, because both are half the angular measure of the minor arc AB. Going back to the problem, because B is point of tangency, if the measure of the semi-inscribed angle at B is alpha, the measure of the inscribed angle BCA is alpha. We don't know the measure of angle APB, but let's say it is beta. Then we notice that triangle PAB have two interior angles with measures alpha and beta, which are also the measure of two interior angles of triangle PBC. Can we deduce something from that information? If one triangle has two interior angles whose measures are also the measures of two interior angles of other triangle, then both triangles have the same shape and are called similar triangles. In two similar figures, elements that play the same role in each figure are called corresponding elements or homologous elements. Examples of corresponding elements in the two similar triangles shown are the sides that are opposite to the beta angle in each triangle. If in the left side triangle we draw a CBM from the beta angle such that it divides the opposite side into two segments whose lengths have the ratio 1 to 3, and we do the same on the right side triangle as shown, then those two CBMs are corresponding elements. One important characteristic in two similar figures is that the angle between two lines in one of them have the same measure as the angle between the corresponding lines in the other figure. For instance, if in the left side triangle the obtuse angle between the CBM and the side opposite to the beta angle measures omega, then the measure of the obtuse angle between the corresponding lines in the other triangle should also be omega. In general, we could draw a CBM that divides the opposite side into two segments whose lengths have any ratio. But if we do the same in the other triangle, the Sevians would be corresponding elements. Then, if in the left side triangle the obtuse angle between the Sevian and the side measures theta, the obtuse angle between the corresponding lines in the right side triangle also measures theta. Let's go back to the problem. Focus on triangles PAB and PBC. They are similar because both have interior angles that measure alpha and beta. We are going to separate them for better visualization. Notice that CBMs PM and PN are corresponding elements because they start from corresponding angles, the ones that measure beta, and because from the information given, the ratio between BM and MA is equal to the ratio between NC and BN. Then the obtuse angle between the CBM PN and side BC in triangle PVC 
should be equal to the measure of the obtuse angle between the CBM PM and side AB in triangle PAB. Then the measure of angle PNC is theta. At point N, the angle that measures x plus theta is a straight angle. Then it should be equal to 180 degrees. Then we can say that x is 180 degrees minus theta. We have completed the solution to the problem. For solutions to other problems in pre-university or university topics, visit 4duni.com. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time.